Does water wetter work on a vehicle and can it decrease the temperature of your coolant? We're gonna go ahead and find that out. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So my name is Random Fix and I moved to Texas and guys in Texas it's hot. It's 111 degrees outside and I have to run the AC in the vehicle. So the other day I was driving and I noticed that the temperature went a little bit to the right over here and whenever you're stopped in traffic and you're running the AC, you're gonna go ahead and get some pretty gnarly conditions with the coolant system. So I wanna go ahead and prevent any sort of damage to my vehicle. I went down to the store and I got myself this Redline water wetter and this is advertised to cool your vehicle coolant system by 20 degrees. To make this a little bit more entertaining and get better results, what I've done is hooked up a scan tool. And on the scan tool here, we can see that the coolant temperature is 212 degrees and the outside temperature is 111 degrees. So I'm gonna let the car cool down. We're gonna go and add the red line and see how well it can actually bring down this temperature from 212 degrees. Stay tuned. So the next day I've let the vehicle cool off. I went ahead and took some of the coolant from the radiator out, put it in the coolant reservoir, used one of these devices here. You could probably use a turkey baster. And Water Wetter has some pretty slick advertising here. So it's called Super Coolant. Cool off your vehicle by 20 degrees and helps control overheating. So we have a nice little chart back here and it claims that if you go and use Water Wetter with a 50-50 mix, that'll go and lower the temperature from 228 to 220. So we're gonna go and see that on our scan tool later on after I've let this mix in to see if there's any noticeable difference. And keep in mind, every vehicle has a thermostat and those thermostats are designed to open at a certain temperature. So this could help, but there's actually gonna be some built-in mechanisms into the vehicle that can keep it from helping. So I went ahead and replaced my coolant and also my thermostat not too long ago. It's right down there. You can see the brand new clamp on there. And I'm going to go and pour this in now and we'll see what happens. But before we do that, let's go and read what this actually says. Doubles the wetting ability of water, improves heat transfer, reduces cylinder head temperature, reduces rust, corrosion, and electrolysis, cleans and lubricates water pump seals, can be used with with all antifreeze coolants. Improves the ability of coolant to wet heat transfer surfaces by 50%. This provides significantly better coolant conduct in the cylinder heads and can reduce coolant and head temperatures by as much as 20 degrees. Can be used with 100% water and racing, but does not protect magnesium or after a freezing point. And it gives you the directions here, one ounce. Now I'm gonna go and add this in here. And you should know how much cooling your vehicle actually takes and measure it out. I'm gonna go and try to dump as much as I can in here. And if I have a lot left over, which I do, I have about half a bottle left. I'm gonna go and throw some in here into my coolant reservoir overflow bottle. And another day I might mix it in. So this might be a two or three day test. And if you just wait a little bit, you'll actually notice that this is going down. You could actually let this burp. So you would start the vehicle and the coolant would actually drop down a little bit and then you can do it again. So I'm gonna start the vehicle with the cap on. And as soon as the vehicle starts, I'm gonna take the cap off and see if it lowers down a little bit and I'll pour some more of this in. And I got a quarter bottle left, just in case I need to add this another day. And as a helpful tip, always make sure you have the OEM radiator cap and do not use the aftermarket ones. I've seen the aftermarket ones, sometimes they release too early. So if you're having an overheating issue, always make sure you're using the OEM one. I put the water wetter in the vehicle. You can see the outside temperature is 105 degrees. The coolant temperature is at 103. And let's see what happens. As I drive this, I've also reset the trip meter. So the trip meter now is gonna be set to zero. So we'll at least put a couple hundred miles on and see what happens. 
so we are back now and it's been many thousands of miles the miles are going to be over a hundred thousand now and we got the water weather still in the vehicle and i'm going to go and start finishing up this video because i have driven this vehicle quite a bit and just like the mileage changed on the vehicle so did the weather so now the temperature is on the other extreme we're in the low 40s here and i'm going to give you guys my final thoughts here about the water weather and if this is something that you should put in your own vehicle so i apologize about any wind in case you can hear some wind it is crazy cold out here so we'll get the water water here and i've had this in the radiator here this whole entire time i've been filming and i'm gonna go and throw the rest of this in here just because i paid a lot of money for this this was about 14 dollars when i bought it if it is good for my vehicle we'll find out and i'm gonna do a long-term test on here because after putting this in the vehicle for the heat I did find out some information about this water weather that I wish I knew before as it actually might cost me more money in the long run. So let me put this in and I'll hop behind the computer and give you guys those final thoughts and stay tuned. Before I publish these videos, I actually give the videos a lot of thought and I try to analyze what happened and if this is something I would redo. And to tell you guys the truth, I honestly would not want to go and add water water to my coolant system again and unless my vehicle did not have a thermostat and if we read what the marketing material is printed on the back of the water water it lets us know that in very clear text and it's noted right here water and water water together are going to be the best formula for reducing heat and just know that you cannot run water in the vehicle alone so most of us have a coolant mix so i think for racing applications this might be really good but for everyday purposes i don't think this is something that i would put in my vehicle as i stated and this review sums it up pretty nicely and this review is a lot older it's about 12 years old now and it's posted on amazon and I'm going to leave this up on the screen for a few minutes so you guys can go ahead and read it for yourself. And if you guys notice the word black sludge, just know that I will go ahead and update this video when I do change my coolant. And I'll let you guys know what's going on with it. And Redline has different products that do similar things. One of them is going to be the super cool extreme here. And if you scroll down a little tiny bit, it lets you know that this is the same formula as the Super Cool. It's just got a brand new look. And one thing that I know about sales is you only change the look of a, the product when it's not doing good. So thank God we have YouTube and the reviews and the minds that we have out there to not keep buying snake oil and putting it in our vehicles that could be potentially actually damaging our vehicles. And again, I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys have any questions or you want to share your story about water water, please do so. But be very specific. Let me know what kind of application you used it in. If it was in your daily vehicle or if it was in your Corvette and you took it to the racetrack. Because for that sort of purpose, it might actually do you some good to go ahead and add that in. Make it a great day. I'll leave you guys some links at the end of this video as well as in the video description box down below. Thank you again.